Hi, my name's Matt, H2O Plasma Plug. You can search my name on uh, Facebook. It is Matt, M-A-T-T, McMahon, M-C-M-A-H-O-N, uh, Cox, C-O-X, and Prue, P-R-O-U-L-X. I have just successfully uh, burned water, and I'm just about to start a video to show you. I uh, had a nice chat with uh, Max Miller from Ohio. Um, pretty convenient. He lives uh, near... Uh, the, the late, great Stanley Myers. So um, basically what I've done here, he suggested using AC, and I've used a microwave transformer. Um, I, connected, um, I connected my uh, wall outlet to L1. Now, if any of you are going to do this, please contact me or Max. Um, so I just want you to be sure that, that you know what you're doing. If you want, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sell you the same setup so you can also burn water. Um, well, I'll, I'll work out the price very soon. Um, I believe that everybody should have this and be able to uh, experiment with it. Um, be very, very careful because this steps up to over 2,000 volts. Um, so we just, just want to make sure everybody's safe. So um, there's also a... Um, flyback coil that comes out here. Just make sure you tape everything off very, very well. I, I used piles of tape to do it. So, um, so, yeah. And then I've got the two leads that come out. Um, I've got it all taped off. I just wanted to avoid getting any shocks. So, um, make sure you use lots and lots of tape because you're using very, very high voltage and um, the, the voltage rating of tape isn't very high. So, um, here's my spark plug. Um, I bought this uh, this little uh, steamer jobby, and uh, I'll be more than willing to uh, to sell the whole kit uh, to anybody that wants it. Um, I uh, I think uh, this exact one because I'm not buying any new parts. I would be willing to sell it for 150 bucks. Um, well, besides this is brand new. Um, includes a spark plug, everything else. So anyways, um, the guy that helped me out, um, his name's uh, Max Miller, he's from Ohio, and um, he's, uh, his YouTube name is Iron D Max, so I-R-O-N-D-M-A-X. Um, so if, I, you know, he, uh, check him out, check his videos out, he's got a lot of good Stanley Meyer stuff, very, very smart man, pretty cool guy too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you water burning. I'm so excited. Um, I've been at this for a little while now. Um, spent lots of money. Um, also take donations. If anybody wants to make donations so we can get this actually running a car on water. Because now that I'm showing you and telling you how it's done, unlike all the other guys, you know it's very possible. So I'm um, just going to prop my camera just a bit more here. So you can see it all. Alright. Let's... Uh, Let's make this shit work. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, so we're gonna turn the steam on. I've got uh, some twist ties here to, to lock it in place. Right up, right in line. All right, let's flip the switch on. First, I got to turn it off because I'm using a um, a bus bar to make sure that I'm not near anything when it sparks. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's get that up a bit. We got some burning water. but that looks like burning water to me. Not supposed to be possible. So, um, let's get that puppy steaming up real good. We'll, uh, we'll do another one. Let the pressure build up. Unplug this. Another video. No, not another video. We'll just get that going up nice and high. So I have lots of pressure. Um, so yeah, this is this is amazing. Um, I can't wait to actually see the video myself because I don't want to stand too close. Another thing, if you do decide to do it, don't stand too close. Um, the other thing, 
if you have discovered anything that is out of the ordinary with any device that you've been working with, share it. We need open source. Um, also, to people that are watching this, donate five or ten bucks. Help us out, you know, we're, we're doing most of this financially ourselves. So, uh, yeah. Uh, light turns off when it's done, so let's get this puppy right filling up there. Something's up, but still, you guys saw it. Gotta check everything out here. Alright, well, um, so I think that if you have that in a more concentrated area, it'll definitely work better. Let's, uh, this off, let it build back some pressure. I want to hear if the transformer is still working. Normally you can hear it hum when you got it on. Do not do this. Yeah, it's still working. Maybe it's just eroded it so the gap's gone. So, uh, Let's try that one more time because that's just so pretty. Alright. Let's see what the spark plug looks like. Well, that's rounding it off, but uh, not too bad. I think I'm going to try to close the gap on it just a little bit. So, another thing don't do. It's um, actually, before you touch it, always discharge it because uh, there's always a little bit of capacitance left in the, in the uh, yeah, there's just a bit of spark there. So now I can touch it, everything's safe. There, now we've got a nice tight gap. That should work a little bit better. How much time am I at? Oh, 10 minutes, almost. Let's get this going.
Here we go. cool down here. I'll take some more videos in a bit. But, uh, I'll be directly loading this up and sharing it with uh, with you all. Um, obviously, I can't wait to see it myself. Um, so this is H2O Plasma Plug. My email is H2O Plasma Plug at gmail.com. Um, anybody that wants to uh, add me, check out more of what I'm doing. Um, please share my videos. Um, I think that this is actually a very important video. I should have probably started it out saying this. Um, please share this video. This is very important. We all want free energy, and uh, we need no, need to know how to do it. If we all work together, we can get this done no problem, and and get it done quickly. So um, so yeah, AC about 2,000 volts um, coming out of the out of the wall. So uh, nothing special. Um, yeah, talk to you soon.